Let's take a quick look at particle trace flow paths in Autodesk CFD. If you have any questions during this quick little presentation, feel free to reach out to me directly at james.herzing at autodesk.com, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Simulation Rocks, or follow the simulation Twitter handle shown on the screen. So starting here, I'm going to assume that you know how to get results for your CFD analysis already. So once you have the results on your screen, go ahead and click plane and click the add button and you see that it automatically adds a plane for you. You can then go to the model tree, right click and edit and choose to rotate this plane around. We're going to change, choose to rotate this in the, on around the z-axis. And now by just clicking and dragging the little handle you're going to be able to rotate the plane to be parallel with the surface that you're interested in. With that, you can go up to the position handle, drag that around, and you're going to be able to position it uh, just outside of that top surface. Click the little X and go ahead and start to add some trace lines. When you click trace, you see that there's a few options that we could go with, picking on a plane, uh, key them in, or we're going with rectangular grid. Here you can go ahead and add how many rows and columns you want to define how many flow lines you're interested in and then click the add button where we can then choose with just three clicks where our flow lines are going to go. So we make a nice little rectangle, click there and choose to add the trace set. And with that, we have our lines automatically defined for us. Uh, by clicking the remove button, you can remove the plane. And then with some of the visual visualization settings, you can go ahead and uh, show the solid part as well as the flow lines but with the fluid hidden. And with that you can see how our Batarang can now be thrown very accurately and quickly at our enemies. All thanks to CFD.